welcome back this is another week and thanks to you i'm back with this information because you have kept me on toes <sighs> thank you for the many many questions many comments and there's one that caught my eye that i would want to address that's the reason we are back here there's a lady a lovely lady who wrote to us and asked thank you caro for the writing to us telling us about pms but what are some of the things that I can do at home without having to go to hospital and also to avoid the medication? Because we are told, that is what she told me, that the young girls are being told to either take family planning uh, tablets to change their, their hormones so that they can stop the PMS or they give birth. Like, I'm like... Jesus, okay, I don't know. Yes, I've had, I've met quite a number of ladies who've been given the, the tablets for the, the family planning. I am still doing my research and engaging the medical fraternity to help me understand exactly why they do that. Because for me, as a health coach, I see it with a long-term side effect. Because a time will come when this girl will want to conceive when she will be of age and she wants a family and she will strain with um, conception. Yet her body was accustomed to a family planning method, to um, the hormones being interfered with to avoid this conception. So let's address this elephant in the room. And as always, Carol, your health coach uses the least like layman's language we are going to try and explain in a language that we will all understand so we agreed that pms is uh, most women experience when there is a change in hormones and sometimes the hormones the hormonal change is intense we agreed that maybe after teenage there are some women who pms reduces but there are also others who experience intense intense painful periods in their 20s just before their 30s that is also very possible now why we are doing all these things is to prevent this hormonal imbalance to exceed to a point that when this girl is mature she will not be able to conceive or she will go and have now ser more serious issues but there is a, a group of girls i would want to talk to the girls who have already had endometriosis and pcos at a younger age does it mean it's the end of the world? No. There are ways and different ways of treating such. But today we are not going to look at the intense one. We are going to look at the home remedies on one the simple things that you can do at home to relieve you from the pain. One, we talked about your muscles being so tensed. The first way you can be able to help your muscles uh, loosen up is the opposite of what you are feeling. I know you are feeling so much pain and you just want to sit or you want to lie down. Imagine the one remedy that you can use that is simple is to rise up and walk or, or run or skip the rope. However the pain is, try and move. When you move, the blood flow will find its way. Because remember the uterine walls were so thick and so the blood flow needs to be very clear so that it can be able to remove them. Uh, the walls and the blood will come out. So one is move. Don't sleep. Don't lie down as much as so painful. I know it's so painful and I understand when I'm telling you that, but try and move a bit. Number two, look for hot beverages. You can look for the hot water bottle. I know in a supermarket or wherever you can buy a hot water bottle and then you put hot water, then Place it on the area that is in pain, either the, the, lower, the lower belly or your back or the muscles that you are feeling the pain. What happens is that the muscles feel the heat and they try to relax. Number three, if you can be able to drink, okay, number two, the hot beverages, you can place on the area that is in pain or you can drink. Number three, you can look for something that is high in magnesium. Magnesium is uh, readily available in let me see let me see i think two i i know two things one is avocado avocado plant avocado fruit is rich in magnesium the second one is the cocoa plant 
and I know in Africa, in Africa, the best cocoa plants are in Ghana. Recently, we've tried to plant in Kenya, and I am seeing like it's becoming, like it's, it's 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 making sense. We'll see if it will grow. But if you cannot, because I know you cannot get cocoa plant, you can look. If you don't have another choice, look for drinking chocolate. Okay. Make some drinking chocolate and drink. If not, if you can be able to get the original cocoa, the one that is tasteless, the one that tastes like soil, that is actually the very best. If not, you can look for the original dark chocolate. That way you provide your body with magnesium. It will loosen up the muscles. It will, it will help you calm down and the blood flow will calm. What happens when you do this? Your blood flow, you the cramping stops and then the blood flows. So the women, some women will tell me, Carol, when I drank this, the blood, the flow was heavier. Yes, it's very possible. Just be careful not to overdo it so that you don't lose so much blood. If you lose so much blood, you will lose more iron. Number four, you can look for herbal teas. There are people who call them herbal teas. There are people who call them herbal teas. And I want to give you a list. Number one, hibiscus tea. Number two, chamomile tea number three rosemary tea number four guava tea by guava i don't mean the fruit i mean the leaves all those things i really mean the leaf and the flower if you can get them in the most natural state the best if you don't know where to get them call r and b and r and b we have them naturally produced uh, naturally sun dried and we have not added or removed anything if you don't have anywhere else you can get and then number five take time to rest when you can after you've moved and the blood is flowing take time and rest and remember to try and ease the pain if the pain is too much you can also look for epsom salt and if you don't have epsom salt it epsom salt is magnesium sulfate you soak your feet. If you don't have the magnesium sulfate, you can use the table salt. Those the table salt has high amounts of iodine and sodium, so it's not the most appropriate. But if you don't have any other option, take a basin, put warm water, soak your feet. Or if you have a bathtub, soak your body. Exp uh, um, expose your body to heat. When the body is exposed to heat, it will be able to ease the tension. At the same time, if now you are in so much pain, chamomile is able to, to lower that, to, to calm down the pain. Uh, sage, you can also look for cloves. You know cloves, the ones that you put in pilau, cloves themselves, by themselves, they are very good. And then you can also engage your, you can make it accustomed to be taking the natural antibiotics. What are the natural antibiotics? We have ginger, we have turmeric, we have cinnamon, we have cloves, and make sure make make them a custom now don't wait until when you have this you are experiencing these symptoms if you know your cycle is 21 days like two or three weeks before your periods be teach your body to now be taking these things and that way you will be able to prevent the intensity in which uh, the PMS will come. So I've given you some home remedies that you can take that are healthy, that are um, drugs free. Does that mean that you should not go to hospital? No. If you want to go to hospital, if it is too much, if it's too much, you can go to hospital. But before you go to hospital, try out all these things. And if you have any other issue in between your periods, please go for a scan. There is an ultrasound that can tell you how your uterus looks like and you will know so that if it is endometriosis or any advanced disease, we'll be able to identify it early and we'll be able to correct it instead of running the last minute. I know you could be having questions or comments or anything and you'd want to know how you can reach my team. My team is Rejuvenating Nature's Beam R&B. The phone number is 0711 or 0750 You can also go to our website. On our website, you'll be able to see all these products and you'll be able to understand some of these products. If you really need to understand some of these things, you can get my book, Natural Remedies, that I have written. Our website is www.rnb.co.ke www.rnb.co.ke You can also look for us in the town near next to you. On the comment section, the pinned um, comment has all the details on all the stockists, all the shops, uh, their contacts and where they are located. That way you'll be able to get more information. 
as always i want to say thank you thank you thank you for your time thank you for your subscription thank you for sharing for liking thank you for your following on facebook twitter instagram as carol your health coach i would not be here were it not for you if you have questions if you have a topic you would want us to address please let me know thank you very much for your time but before i leave allow me to thank smart edge media production for doing this whole wonderful production because if you told me to be to use these cameras i wouldn't know so for them because of them we are able to uh, pr pr provide this information let me thank ej beauty for making me look glamorous ej thank you very much i thank evelyn from uh, magadiwe boutique for dressing me and making me look this beautiful and feel this sexy <laughs> Thank you very much. Until next time, remember to subscribe and tell a friend to subscribe.